Welcome back to Sip to Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at the O-line. Now, the O-line has, getting, has been getting a lot of flack for their play of late. When you rush for 250-plus yards, you have to be doing something right. So what I wanted to do was, and we know Lamar had just shy of 100 yards rushing, so I'm taking Lamar out of the picture. His design runs, his, his option runs, his scrambles. Take his 97 yards out of the picture. And I wanted to see what the O-line did with regular runs, you know, with running back runs, and see how well they performed. And they didn't disappoint. Now, again, you know, our tackles have not been playing the best in pass pro and, and, and whatnot, but and they're getting rotated in and out to try to get them healthy for the playoff run. But the guys in the middle and on certain plays, the tackles, I was really impressed with what they did versus the run. And let's kind of look at what we did, you know, numbers-wise as far as runs to, to even have this success. First up, let's look at the personnel. The personnel. Um, these runs, it's, it's 28 runs I charted uh, between Gus, Keaton, and um, Hill. And so these are the runs. I'm, I'm going to show you about five or six players from those guys here in a minute. But this is the personnel from those 28 runs. 12 personnel being the dominant dominant personnel. And keep in mind, I once depending on where Ricard lines up, that's what I classify him as. If he lines up in a tight end type position, I'm classifying him as a tight end. If it's in the backfield in any sort of position like a wing or a traditional fullback spot, he's a he's a back. So that's, you know, with this right here, 12 being the dominant personnel grouping, we got him, you know, one back, two tight ends. And a lot of that has to do with Ricard. Let's go to the type of plays that we ran to kind of, you know, get those yardages. Um, power being the, the dominant one, power late, late in the game. All of our short yardage runs were were power. The most effective runs outside of power were inside and outside zone, even though they were there were not as many of those runs. But again, power dominated with, with eight of the 28 plays. Um, counter had seven. There were some good, some good counters in there. Uh the anomaly plays, pin and pull, toss, uh, trap, those were in there, you know, sparingly. But inside zone, outside zone, power counter, those are your four main runs. And I think the most effective runs that you got, I think the most effective runs where you got the most bang for your buck were inside zone and outside zone. But as far as the number of runs, we run counter and power. So we're, you know, if you look at this chart and you only looked at this chart, you still think we were a gap running team, even though we are not. But let's kind of get into the, the film breakdown of, of what we saw and so I can give this O-line the props that they deserve for what they did Sunday night in Jacksonville. Okay, in this first play, we get Keaton Mitchell for 10 yards. You see him spit, split through there, and, and as he, you know, gets to a hole, his burst is, is crazy. Once he figures it out and sifts through what's going on, and once he sticks that foot in the ground, it's one cut and go. And I really hate that what happened to him, but you know, hopefully he'll bounce back forward. But he he had some really good runs in this game. And I felt like the Ravens were really using him. He was really sticking his foot in the ground and, and doing what needed to be done. So I hate it for the kid. But let's look at the power. And what should happen on power right here is we should get down blocks, down blocks, down blocks. We should get a kick out by Ricard. Simpson should pull for the first thing that shows up. Normally that would be the linebacker. And what you should get on power is down block, down block, down block. Record kick out. John Simpson pull to the first thing that shows up. So you get your downs right there. Record with the kick out. Now, what should happen is, who is this? Moses should come to that backside backer. We should get John Simpson pull into Devin Lord and just let Mitchell just sift it out. Good job. Good job of Record kicking out. Good job of Ronnie. We wish, wish he would be on the other side, but we'll take it. And good job of Simpson getting on that right there. And then he got skinny, popped out. Now, at this point is when the speed comes. So good job by, by them guys up front getting a hat on the hat and allowing the back to do what he do. Next play is Mitchell for 13 yards, and this is the play he actually got hurt on. And you get Ricard pulling, you get Simpson pulling, and this is a counter. And this is counter. And with this one right here, you get still getting your downs, getting your downs, getting your downs, getting your downs to backside backer. You're getting Simpson pulling to be the lead guy for the kick out. 
the car pulling to be the rap guy. And then you got Keaton Mitchell just going to sift it out. And when it opens up, get right off of Ricard's block. There's Simpson's kick out. Here comes Ricard for the first thing popping. And even though it's, it's, it's that's where you would want to hit it, but it's tight to hit that. So with all these legs and stuff going on, so I understand bouncing it. I really do. And making that guy miss. This is key right here, making him miss. That is the key. But again, going through it, and I'm just going to cut it off right there because I don't want to see that leg anymore. We're going to go to the next play. But again, get well. Get well 34. I hope you can bounce back forward from it. And um, you go, you will be missed, my guy. You will be missed. Keep match for 24 right here. Good job of, uh, on the toss right here. Nelly tries to, to seal it in. And he does. He gets enough of them. But Keaton to get out of there. But the O-line, they, they did a good job of trying to get a hat on the hat and just giving them room to work. And if you can create space for, for a guy with this kind of explosiveness, they'll find a way. They'll find a way. Turn the backside of it. You're going to get a crack down by, by Nelly. You can't see him right now, but he's going to crack that dude down to try to set the edge. Yeah, great job by Zyla on the on the seal. Great job of Zyla by the seal. Great job of Simpson of, of getting that hook. The, pin, the kick down right there. Then you got Moses leading. You got Ricard leading. So the seals were good. And look, Linderbaum out there. Ricard out there. You got the cavalry. Now, he could have hit that, but you got that guy coming. and he, Great vision. And great job to continue working by Simpson, too. He cuts off of Simpson and reverses field. I'm going to get a special block by this young man right here, who is your all-pro quarterback. <laughs> to seal him for another 15, 20 yards. I like to hustle by four trying to get down there and get a block. But he always trying to get blocks. That's one thing I say about Zay. He don't mind blocking. Small in stature, but he don't mind blocking. And this is what I love. This is what I, when I said they were using him right. Just simple inside zone. Simple. He can hit those and he can burst those. And, you know, I don't know what we're going to do to replace him. But this is what I love about what we started to do with him. It's just simple inside zone. Simple inside zone. Double team that to that. You kick that. Double team that up to there. Forget him. We don't care about him. Likely Art can go do something else. Go do something else. And then read him if you want. Or let likely block him. It's up to you. If it depends on if you want to have Lamar read it or not. But that's the initial double team with those two. But they, they fanned out. They didn't double team. So was, there's no read. Oh, we read Lloyd. Look at Lamar's eyes. Didn't realize that. They read Lloyd. Lloyd went out. So he handed it. Oh, I see. It's a little different, little different thing right there. Second level, second level uh inside zone read. Red Lloyd. That's where his eyes went straight to Lord. Lord. Lord fanned out, and he handed it. Good job. Now, watch this cut by Mitchell. Look at that. See, I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, at this point, you know, he's kind of in that gap, but when he extends that arm to reach, watch Linda Bond finish him. Finish him. Oh, he got him before he even reached. Finish him, Lindy. Pancake. And a good job by Simpson getting up to second level. Good job by Simpson getting up to second level. Ronnie held his own versus – um. Josh Allen on his edge right here. Good job by Ronnie. Good job by Ronnie. And there it is. Simple inside zone. Simple inside zone. You got a guy that can scoot through there. It's, 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 it's deadly now. It's real simple, but it's deadly. This is Gus Edwards. Ran this counter early in the game. I think this is the play Ronnie got hurt on too. Ran this counter early in the game, and it wasn't effective because Josh Allen ran it down. And I'll show you what Josh Allen did earlier to run it down. So same formation and everything. What happened was, what happened was when these two guys pulled, Josh Allen came screaming off the end and tackled the back from the backside. Because likely went this way, but he didn't block him or didn't touch him. Maybe he was supposed to arc out and go into a route or something like that, but he didn't touch him and Josh Allen just ran it down. But this time, like he's going to create some kind of hesitation. He don't block him per se, but he slows him down and then watch Gus hit it. It works, it works well when you block the end. The backside end. See, with this one, you got, you got Linda Bond pulling, you got Ronnie pulling. Linda Bond's going to pull the kick out. 
Ronnie's rapping to the first thing that show up, whatever backer that is, or whatever, whatever different color shows up, likely's coming to seal the edge. Seal the edge. Great job by Zyla here on this, this down block. Look at who is this? Falele? Is that Falele? Falele trying to get to the second level. I see you. I see you, Falele, trying to get to the second level. Trying to get to the second level. But since this guy's way is over there, way over here, he's doing a good job to stay there. But again, likely making Lord not just be able to crash down, sets this up. There's the block by Ronnie where he kind of went out. Look at Ricard doing work right here. Ricard doing work. And Gus fits right off of it. Fits right off of it. Great job by them guys up front and record. Great job. And then Gus trying to finish the run. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Now we get Justice in the game. Get a little OZ. And this is what, this is what Justice can bring us that, we, that we're going to lose with Mitchell. You can still get some of this out of Justice Hill. He just got to do it. He's the twitchiest, twitchiest back we got, if that's a word. I just made it up. But look at the outside. Watch the – watch – just – when we run this, when we run outside zone, you guys recognize it, find Linderbaum. Find Linderbaum. It's a great job by Zyla taking care of that. Now you just turn it. Turn and seal it. The thing this is far lately, just don't let him cross your face, big fella. We got Morgan Mo – not Morgan Moses. We got um Simpson working. Now Simpson's in a good spot. Once he get on this side, turn it. Just turn it. Linda Bone realizing that Simpson has that. He's going to try to get up on, on Oluwakon. And doesn't get much on him. Doesn't get much on him, but he's in the right spot. Then you got Ricard. You got Ronnie working together on Lloyd and, and Josh Allen. And they don't get much of them. They don't get much of them, but they get enough of them. And Justice Hill, with that speed that he has, cannot run them. And he gets the edge. Look, he, he gets the edge with all his room to work. So he don't just get the edge at the sideline. He gets the edge with room to turn up. And he turns into an eight-yard game. Get a first down. So I really just wanted to kind of give them guys some love and show what they did to, to I don't want to say curb stump, but to to smash mouth the, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I didn't want to put Lamar's runs in there because Lamar's going to get his, whether it be from scrambles, zone reads, or the few design runs that we had for him. I just wanted to see the basic running back runs. And them, them guys did a great job because I, for one, talk about them when they do bad. But I want to give them their flowers when they do good. So shout out to the O-line for paving the way for the Ravens to rush for 251 yards. Salute to you guys for that. And honestly, I would love for you to do it again on Christmas night. Hey, let's go for 251 again. Hey, we go for 251 again. I'll be cheesing just as good Christmas night at the end of that stream. So I appreciate you guys for coming through. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And share them by grabbing a link to it. And uh, putting it on your social media platforms or your, your group chats and all that. Um, I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world. See y'all soon. Peace and love.